Have you ever wondered how a volcano erupts? It's a fascinating sight, isn't it? But guess what? You don't have to travel all the way to a volcanic island to witness it. Today, we're going to create our very own volcanic eruption right at home. We'll dive into the exciting world of chemistry, using household-friendly ingredients to craft a realistic volcano and trigger an epic eruption. So are you ready for some explosive fun? Stay tuned as we explore the explosive power of chemical reactions right in our homes. Uh, to create our very own volcanic eruption, we need some simple supplies. Gather around your kitchen and let's start with baking soda and vinegar, our key ingredients for this experiment. Find a container any size will do to act as our volcano base. We'll also need dish soap to add that bubbly effect and food coloring for a more realistic lava flow. Don't forget a spoon for mixing. All of these are safe and commonly found items in most households. With these items, we are ready to begin our exciting journey into the world of chemistry. Our first step involves constructing a realistic volcano. We'll begin with a container which will serve as the core of our volcano. To give it a natural shape, we'll mold modeling clay around it. Ensure it's thick enough to prevent any leaks. Next, we'll shape the clay to resemble a volcano with a broad base that tapers to a narrow peak. Don't forget to leave an opening at the top for our impending eruption. Colouring is optional, but it can add a touch of realism. Use different shades of brown and green to mimic real-life mountains. Once you're satisfied with your creation, let it dry. Here's a tip. While crafting, remember that perfection isn't the goal. What matters is following each step accurately. It's all about learning and having fun. Now that we have our volcano in place, it's time to make it erupt. Are you ready to witness the power of chemical reactions? Now comes the most thrilling part of our experiment, triggering the eruption. This is where we'll see all our hard work pay off in a spectacular display of chemistry in action. We've built our volcano and it's now time to make it erupt. Inside the crater of our volcano, we have a hidden container filled with baking soda. You remember the vinegar we set aside earlier? Well, it's time to bring it into play. Now, carefully pour the vinegar into the crater of your volcano. As you do this, something remarkable starts to happen. The vinegar, which is an acid, reacts with the baking soda, a base. This reaction creates a gas called carbon dioxide. Now here's where the fun part starts. Carbon dioxide is a gas, and gases need a lot of room. But our gas is trapped inside the volcano. As more and more carbon dioxide is produced, it starts to push against the walls of its container. It wants to escape. And there's only one way out, up and over the sides of our volcano. This eruption of vinegar and baking soda, just like a real volcanic eruption, is a powerful demonstration of the nature of chemical reactions. It's a reminder that even with everyday household items, we can witness the extraordinary power of science. And there you have it a spectacular volcanic eruption right in front of your eyes. What a blast! But what exactly happened during our experiment? We embarked on a thrilling journey through the world of chemistry, creating our very own volcanic eruption. We started by gathering our materials, all household-friendly items, and then set to work on crafting a realistic volcano. This was a fun and exciting way to learn about the geological formation of volcanoes, but the real excitement began when we filled our volcano with baking soda and added vinegar. This triggered a spectacular eruption, much like the ones we see in nature, but on a much smaller and safer scale. So what's the science behind all this? It's a chemical reaction. When baking soda, a base, mixes with vinegar and acid, they react to form carbon dioxide. This gas expands quickly, and with nowhere else to go, it pushes up and out of the volcano, carrying some of the vinegar and baking soda mixture with it. This is what creates the eruption. It's a great way to visualize a chemical reaction and understand how gases can create pressure. In this experiment, we've seen firsthand how exciting and interactive science can be. We've explored chemistry, geology, and physics in a fun and engaging way. And the best part? You did it yourself. Remember, science is all around us, and even the most explosive phenomena can be explained with a bit of knowledge. Keep exploring and see you in our next experiment.